nice to see you. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shot all. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, you, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. 
It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. There's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Alright, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. I'll believe that when I see it. And I pipe down while I finish my puzzle. Ah, raspberries. I'm gonna go make the rounds. Good riddance to you. Okay, this is the director's office. This is where the key should be. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah. Gonna relax and watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary's Uncle Lou passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. Give it up! This is the Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire.
take a load off. Well, how'd you make out? Uh, things got out of hand. There was nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement, remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendants by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Sure thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. 
Now forget you saw me. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me.
Hey, uh, you in the market for some surplus gas stamps? Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah, all right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. All right, that's the last of them. At least I got some cash. I should head back to Joe's. Jeez. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks.
Hey, look who's here. Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. But when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. It wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back work at the peanuts down at the dock. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? See in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, bulb. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. He's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I work some guys off. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wharf rats. Version to red lights? Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Brian fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. Reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss Let's my ass. get the ass. fuck out of here. Ugh. Gotta get the fuck what out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Ah! 